But what herbs do is they change the environment more than anything. They put your body in a better uh, place where it's better able to heal itself. And so with that, you know, as we're talking about uh, uh, immunity, you know, I think it's really, really important. And, and again, think about this. Also, think about your body as a bucket, okay? If it's clean, if it's healthy, it's not going to, going to attract any bugs. Essentially, that's what some of these things are parasites, viruses, bacteria, you know, yeast, some of these things that we can get inside our body. And think, you know, we had a flood years ago in Nashville. And afterwards, Dr. Mark, I mean, I had so many patients coming in with mold toxicity because they didn't get it cleaned up properly. I mean, mold was a huge issue for years in Nashville. So all that being said, but, but in order for mold to grow, it has to be in a very specific environment. It has to be damp and and the way you get rid of it is you have a lot of airflow and light and you dry it out, okay? The same thing happens in our body. In Chinese medicine, they'd call it dampness. But, but essentially, in our bodies, if our body gets too damp and our body also gets in a bad environment, that's what allows these bugs to thrive. And so you just need to change the environment. That's what these do. One of the things people should notice is that most herbs – that you take for fighting an inf that for fighting a virus are bitter. Okay, mm. bitter drives out dampness and phlegm and candida in Chinese medicine. So, in fact, andrographis, which is one of the herbs now most prescribed in Asia and Japan for something like COVID, it's known as king of the bitters. It is the most bitter. Or have you days that you're like, this is the most bitter thing I've ever had in my life. But if you try echinacea. That's really bitter. That's another yep. good one. And a lot of these yep. uh, olive leaf, these are all very, very bitter. Those herbs are going to help drive out and actually have a lot of those antiviral properties with those things. And then I would also say um, things that are going to just activate the immune system. So you have the ones that help drive the bad stuff out and the ones that strengthen your organ systems in your own body to better fight off the infection. Astragalus is a great example of one that really strengthens your own system so you can better fight off a virus. <laughs>